Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. Last time we got the Sun Song, um, Den's Fire, which I didn't really show off. And, you know what? Fine, I'll show it off in a place where it's kind of freaking useless. This is Den's Fire. You know, he, he takes the Kamehameha pose and does that. I know, amazing, right? Uh, yeah, anyway, we also made it here to Zora's Domain. Alright, so, yeah, why not? We can talk to them. Who are you? I am Link! Zora's, okay. You have some connection with Hyrule's royal family? Why, well, yes, indeed, I do. Why, well, I'm merely the, uh, associate of the princess. It's pretty much all it is, really. You're Zelda's associate, like, not friend, just, you know, someone who just showed up there. She was like, hey, I had a dream about you. You want to save the country? How did the sign break? All right, that's confusing. Anyway, onward to do stuff here. Um, huh. Kind of forgot the order in which I need to do stuff. Oh, this is the shop, by the way. Link, please stop locking onto signs. Let's see what they're selling. Okay, you got Deku Nuts, you got Fish, you got Red Potion, Arrows, uh, Arrows, Zora Tunic, Recovery Heart, Arrows. Oh boy. All that stuff is rather useless right now, and uh, I could use the Fish. But at the same time, I can get fish for free. So I'd rather not pay that ripoff artist. Alright, so up here we go. We're gonna talk to this fat so right here. Or do I play Zelda's lullaby first? That triggered absolutely nothing. Or do I have to lock on to him and play? Okay, seriously, what, what's going on here? Oh, it was because I was holding down R that changed it. Oh, so that's probably why Saria's song didn't work for me in Darunia's place that first time. Okay, yeah, no, that's not working out. Um, I really did forget the order in which I needed to do things here, so uh, maybe I have to light the torches first? Okay, that torch will now stay lit. I hope. Okay. And then we want to stay in the shallow water. Wait. Something is amiss. Something. Damn it all. Okay, no, no! Okay, this one is gonna take me a while. Okay, um, that did absolutely nothing. Um, I don't know what that does, if, if I need to do it or if it's just optional. Also, what's up with all these little places and their infatuation with torch puzzles? It's 
kind of ridiculous, really. I mean, Dodongo, I mean, not Dodongo's Cavern, Goron City, and now Zora's Domain. It's kind of weird. Seriously, I kind of forgotten the absolute heck what I need to do. Like, I don't know. Do I talk to the guy that's off to the side right here? I think I need Zora scale or something. I don't. I don't remember. I don't recall. I'm. I don't know. Why do I have to pay? Fine. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have. I have a limited amount of time to pick up the rupees he throws. Is what he was saying. Okay, wow, they're not that far from each other at all. I have 50 seconds, okay. Perfect dive from Link there. I give it a 10 out of 10. Okay. So far, so good. As long as I average one every 10 seconds, I'll be fine. All right, well, looks like I have won. Not the hardest mini game of them all. And of course, you know, he doesn't just toss down my prize. I gotta run back up there and get it. All right, so we're back up here. Look at that camera effect. Oh man, there's a dive. Take this, a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. Yay, you got the silver scale. Jump into the water and press A. You can dive deeper than you could before. Where did I get Zora's scale from? I don't know. Anyway, with this, we can now dive for even longer. So instead of diving for three seconds, tch, wow, Link, what are you, a child? We can now dive for six seconds. I wasn't doing a good job of diving for six seconds, but... Oh, he just immediately turns around when he hits something. Okay. Come on. Must get in here. Okay, so we are in Lake Hylia. Yeah. Kind of completely random. Hi, hey there, Zora, how's it going? Yes, I, I know you are a Zora. River carries many things into this lake. And you could probably see one of those things when I was leaving the little thing, but yeah, this is Lake Hylia. I just want to see where we are on the map. Can't really compare this to Zora's Domain, considering, you know, all right, well, this is Lake Hylia. Oh, I actually have to scroll to it manually. That's Zora's Domain. So either there was a portal that we swam into, or Link was really able to hold his breath for a rather long time. Either that or uh, the original Link we all knew and loved is now dead and this is actually like one of his descendants but we didn't see that because like in that short amount of time that the screen transitioned you know about um 30 years past so i i don't know what i'm trying to say anymore anyway we got an empty bottle there's something in the, it's not an empty bottle if there's something inside of it damn it yeah just just Look at the... Fine. And I can't do anything with this letter just yet. So, time to head on back to Zora's Domain. Seriously, how the hell are you able to get... I, like, how is that a shortcut from the lake to the thing? Link should have drowned. Oh, well, video game logic. You gotta love it. All right, let's read this letter. It looks like there is something already inside. But it said that on the item screen. What? The? Oh, okay. Help me. I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, Rudo. P.S. Don't tell my father. All right. Looks like we got to tell her father. I mean, he is looking for her after all. Okay. So here we are, and. Come to think of it, had I not already known, <laughs> like, I have to get the bottle that's at the bottom of Lake Hillia, like, how are people who are just playing this game, how would they have figured that out, like, if they were playing this for the very first time? 
Uh, I, I guess if they talk to particular Zoras or something, because, yeah, I'm, like, talking to absolutely no one, so, yeah. Anyway, here's the letter guy. Why, yes, it is from Princess Rudo. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Rudo. Okay. And I like how he was just so. Well, no, no, just, just, just never mind. Never mind. Since that Lord. Uh, blah. Since that stranger, Ganondorf, came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Rudo. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Well, yeah, this bottle right here. Um, so, yeah, like, you're never going to beat the game without this bottle. Like, the two bottles I have now, those are practically optional, really. But this one, it's required. So, yeah. I will find your princess immediately. What? what? Why are you saying Zora? Are you a Pokemon now? Alright, so this is about to take uh, eight years for him to move out the way. So, uh, yeah, I just set down the controller and, um, yeah. I don't have much else to say here. He's, he's just taking his time. Guess I might as well talk about school. So, yeah, currently I'm taking a web design class that's total utter bullshit because the professor is bad. But, hey, that's what happens when you have tenured professors. Also taking an algorithms class that is kicking my ass. And an architecture slash assembly class, which is actually pretty fun. Plus, the professor is really cool. And, alright, he's finally out of the way. Cool. Alright, so. No, don't lock onto the... Damn it, Link. Damn it. We got a stone down here. Hey there, stone. Alright. Alright, and okay. We're about to go. And see what's up with this Lord Jabu Jabu. And why Rudo is inside him. Well, inside his belly. I mean, everybody's just so nonchalant about that. Like, oh, hey, yeah, um, you know, I'm kind of in our god's stomach. But, you know, I mean, yeah, everything, everything's cool. You know, it's, it's nothing major, nothing I can't handle. And that is Lord Jabu Jabu. He looks so freaking derpy, it's ridiculous. All right, yeah, I'm just breaking these pots. Because I, because I can, okay? I'm just artificially padding out the video length because, yeah, I know exactly what I need to do now. Um, there's nothing I can... Okay, wait a minute, no. There has to be some around here. I need fish. Where, where, where is their fish? I'm not paying that Zora for a fish. I will find a fish on my own if it's the last thing I do. There we go. You got a fish. Use it with C and something might happen. It looks so fresh and yeah, whatever. So I like how you can, you know, just get a fish right here. Or you can pay him whatever the hell he's asking for a fish. Sorry about that abrupt silence, but uh, all the lights just flickered in my room for some reason and I have no clue why. That fills me with a large amount of dread and yet here I am still recording. Because I'm a stubborn mule. Also, I want to see what's under here. Dive, Link. Dive like you never dived in all your diving life, diver. What? Confusion! Oh, uh, okay. I did not know that shortcut exists. So yeah, I guess, you know, if you, uh, save and exit before you enter Lord Jabu Jabu, uh, you can always go into the Lost Woods and, uh, come right here. And, um, 
Yeah, you, you'll be right back near Zora's Domain. Also, I need to show off freaking like, where you enter the Lost Woods from, uh, Kokiri Forest. I mean, it's not that far at all, really. I mean, it's just, like, okay, the exit of the village, you'll just, you know, instead of going to the actual... Exit, do I actually need to play the damn lullaby again? No, no, currents! No! No! This was a horrible decision! This was a horrible decision! No! Wow, I feel so very stupid. Damn you, Octorock! Just adding insult to injury there, huh? Link, grab onto something. No, yes, okay. Alright, all is not lost, but I kind of lost track of what I was saying before that cat is struck. Oh, okay. I just immediately catch him back and water goes right back into the bottle. I have no clue what the hell is going on now. I've lost track of everything. But, oh yeah, I was talking about how to get to Lost Woods. But yeah, the exit of Kokiri Forest. Instead of going to the actual exit, you just make a right. And like jump up on this little ledge and uh, climb some vines. And you'll be right at the entrance to the Lost Woods. Don't worry, when I inevitably take a wrong turn in the Lost Woods, you'll, you'll all see. Okay. Let's actually do this right. Alright, so we're back right here. And here's Lord Jabu Jabu. So yeah, in order to get into Lord Jabu Jabu, his belly, you have to have a fish. Like, so I'm... I'm trying to use the damn fish. Oh, but he was in the middle of his stretching animation because that obviously takes precedence over killing a defenseless fish. Those teeth. Yeah, Lord Jabu Jabu, he's hungry. For human flesh! Well, I can't really say human, uh, or Kokir. Hillian flesh! Anyway, we're inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Well, they say that, but I mean, you know, we're technically still- Oh my god. Please tell me I can enter right back in- Okay, good. Yeah, we're technically still in his mouth. Because, you know, teeth. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end things right here. So, next time we're gonna start Lord Jabu Jabu's belly. Not looking forward to this dungeon because, uh, this one can be a bit rough. It can be a bit rough, but I'm going to try my best. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and see you next time for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest shenanigans. Goodbye.